Rifle Association has roared into town with 70,000 visitors. And right on the heels of the pro-gun lobby, it's critics. Ahead of opening day, there was a small anti-gun rally at the city market pleading for what's being described as common sense gun laws. RTV6 reporter Derek Thomas has our story. This is what undescribable pain looks like. This is what gun violence looks like. Vernell Miller is holding a photograph of and talking about her 13-year-old grandson, Jarrell Tucker. He was shot and killed in 2012 by then 55-year-old Glenn Beard with an illegal handgun. Beard was convicted of murder and sentenced to 65 years in prison. But State Senator Jean Bro is frustrated because she believes the National Rifle Association fights against what she calls common sense gun legislation. As the NRA is, is large and organized, we must become large and organized as well. This is a battle that we have to fight with every piece of passion that we have and that we cannot stop because there's too much death, too much violence in our streets. The NRA does not apologize for its money or its 5 million members. 70,000 of them are in town for their convention this week. The problem isn't guns in the hands of law-abiding people. The problem is guns in the hands of criminals. And what these uh, legislators were, are, are trying to do, some of these legislators are trying to do, is to make sure that law-abiding people don't have access to guns. And that's a wrong-headed move. The burden of the law ought to be on the criminal. The dialogue and dissent will continue on Saturday here at the Indiana War Memorial. Moms demand action for gun sense, and gun violence survivors will rally. Derek Thomas, RTV6. The ribbon cutting for the NRA will be tomorrow at 8.45 in the morning. The exhibit hall opens at 9.